Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the Bitcoin dominance is running into an important level of resistance, which could tell us where the altcoin market might be heading next. So definitely stick around for that. First of all, taking a quick look at the daily Ethereum charts, and according to the Parabolic Stop and Invest indicator on the daily time frame, we are still clearly within this bearish trend. But looking in the VPVR indicator, we have a massive amount of support coming into play at around 2,600, and this level of support at 2,600 is also important because that is the golden pocket right here on this 12-hour Ethereum chart. So that 2.6k price is very important to keep an eye on. And while we're on the 12-hour Ethereum chart, it's worth mentioning that this bullish divergence I've been talking about over the past few days is officially invalid, making this the first invalid bullish divergence we have seen in a long time because normally these patterns are very accurate. But obviously for those of you that have been watching all of my Ethereum update videos recently, you would already know why this bullish divergence has failed and why we are seeing a little bit more bearish price action for Ethereum compared to something like Bitcoin due to the Ethereum versus Bitcoin valuation looking quite bearish as I've been saying for a few weeks now, but I'll be talking more about that in just a moment because if we head back to the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame. Technically speaking, the price of Ethereum is currently forming a falling wedge pattern and the breakout statistics for this pattern are around seven times out of 10. This type of pattern breaks out to the upside and around three times out of 10, this type of pattern breaks to the downside. But of course, we need to keep an eye on our support and resistance levels. First of all, our support is coming into play at around 2.7k and our resistance is coming into play at around 2870. And before the technical price target for this pattern comes into play, we need to see a confirmed breakout above Above that line of resistance. So ideally, if the price of Ethereum can come back up towards around 2.9k, then we would have a technical price target at around 3150, which is the top of the wedge. And now zooming out to the three-day Ethereum chart, right now the price of Ethereum is getting very close to this ascending line of support, which is currently sitting at around 2650 approximately. So once again, this ascending line of support comes in confluence with this golden pocket and also this range of supports in the VPVR indicator that I spoke about earlier. And all of that confluence adds greater significance to that level of support at 2.6k, which means while the price of Ethereum is above 2,600 on the larger timeframes, we're not looking too bad because technically speaking, the price of Ethereum is still forming higher lows on the larger timeframes. And obviously this isn't just my opinion, this is literally a fact. Unless of course the price of Ethereum starts breaking below 2.6k and below these previous lows, that would be our first significant bearish signal on the three-day Ethereum chart that we have seen in a long time, which is why it is very important to to keep an eye on that $2,600 support level. And now giving you a quick update on the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame. And yes, technically speaking, we are still trending more bearish than bullish. And for those of you who have been watching all of my Ethereum update videos over the past three weeks or so, you would have seen this bearish move before it actually happened due to this bearish divergence, the downtrend in the RSI, and the downtrend in the daily Ethereum versus Bitcoin MACD. And as of right now, technically speaking, these indicators have not reversed. So technically, we are simply looking more bearish than and bullish for Ethereum versus Bitcoin at the moment, which basically just means Ethereum is underperforming against Bitcoin. And this can also be said about the majority of altcoins out there compared to Bitcoin, because once again, something that I've been talking about over the past few weeks is this rise coming in the Bitcoin dominance due to the uptrend in the daily RSI and the uptrend in the daily MACD for the Bitcoin dominance chart on the daily timeframe. And for any of the beginners out there, when the Bitcoin dominance moves to the upside, that is bearish for altcoins. That means altcoins are going to be losing more value than Bitcoin if Bitcoin is going down or if the Bitcoin price is going up, it means altcoins are not having as big gains as Bitcoin. Now, it is important to mention that there's always going to be some exceptions to the rule because there's tens of thousands of altcoins out there. But this is just speaking about the overall altcoin market as in what the altcoins are doing on average. So like I said, based on the current trends at the moment, the altcoins are looking a little bit more bearish than Bitcoin. But with that being said, bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool right here, we've just run into the golden pocket, which is an important level of resistance. And over the past one day, the Bitcoin dominance has seen a slight retracement while the daily RSI is getting closer towards overbought territories. And so if we start seeing some more bearish signals on this chart, like for example, another downtrend forming in the RSI or a possible bearish divergence or a bearish cross in the MACD, those would be some of the signals that I'll be looking out for on the charts to help predict a recovery in the altcoin markets. But right now, we haven't really seen enough bearish confirmation in the Bitcoin dominance to be overly bullish on the altcoin market at the moment. But 
But once again, it's important to keep an eye on that golden pocket, which is coming into play at around 43% Bitcoin dominance. So basically, if the Bitcoin dominance starts breaking well above 43%, then that would be even worse for altcoin to Bitcoin valuations. But believe it or not, you can still make a lot of money in crypto, even if prices are going down. And if you want to know exactly how to do that, check out one of these uploads popping up right here on your screen. Because in these two videos right here, I show you exactly how I make more money in crypto, even when prices are going down. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well leave a like and subscribe down below. But that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.